Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to do a process video of some uh, folded paper strip embellishments and I have made these in one of my other videos um, but I wanted to make some more because I think these are really fun to make and just uh, easy to uh, put together just using your paper strips uh, just like these ones here and um, I wanted to make some more so I thought I'd do a video and show you how I make these and usually uh, you can also make these. So these are the folded uh, paper strips that I've made. Um, you can also sew the folded paper um, across and that will keep the folded part of the paper together. But if you haven't got a sewing machine, I wanted to make it without the sewing machine. So um, you could also make these with just glue and then we can just start layering them. So these are the ones that I've um, just made the base first and I can just put these aside and then continue decorating and layering them when I need to later on and I just think um, they look really nice and ready to add to your projects or you can gift these to a crafty friend and you can make them in any length and any width you like to make these as well so you can just decide once you start folding them together how long you like to make them and this is one of my older ones that I made in that video. And I'll link that video down below if you wanted to have a look and see uh, the video with the ones I made in that one. But in this one, I've made them a little bit different and I've added a little charm dangle with one of, or using my uh, heart punch and I've made them nice and sturdy so it doesn't bend and I'll um, show you how I made them that way. And I made a little teeny tiny envelope and I'll also add, I'll show you how to make these. So you don't even need to use a die uh, to make uh, the little mini envelope. But look how cute this is. So this is uh, one that I've already completed. And this one here, I didn't quite finish it. I wanted to add some more layering, but I thought I'll just add the little dangle to the front. And there's a little sequence there on both the back and front. Um, this is another one. This is a small one. So this is a little bit shorter in length for smaller projects. And this also has a cute little envelope. I'll use a book page for this one. And there's a little tag. So it's really cute. And this is another one. And there is, um, this has also got a little smaller heart in the front. Let me go this way. I punched out a smaller heart and layered that on the front of the larger heart and added some crochet string this has also got a little envelope this goes in there so these are the ones i made and then it was uh similar to the one that i showed you uh on my last project where i made one of them for the front of the no glue packaging um folded packaging uh pocket so I thought that looked really um, really nice so that's why I thought I'd make some more of these and um, you could also add it to like a, a library card or library pocket you know you can just add it to the front and that'll finish it off and you've got this cute little dangle hanging off there um, you could add it to the top like that to finish it off you can also add these onto bag toppers and just fold a, a, a strip of paper and add this to the front and then you've got a bag topper add it to the side of your book page to create like a little um, page tab or you can add another a backing paper and create it into a little um, just add more layering just to add more embellishing to it so I just think these are just really cute so I'm going to make one and show you how I put these together and I'll make the little envelope as well so all you need uh, is for these strips of papers that I've cut out I'll give you these longer ones these are six inch strips so it's an easy measurement to um, cut or use your six by six papers if you have a lot of six by six paper length and then I just cut it at one inch so it's a one inch by six inch uh, strip so I just cut them all out and just had a few ready and then I also had these little smaller strips I have so many of these these are like the little end bits when you want to trim down your papers or use your branding strips these are like the branding strips so I kept them as well and I 
just made them a little bit smaller in width. I think this is about a quarter of an inch wide and the length I've just left it for now and then I'll just trim it down when I am um, decide to put it on. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my strips. Um, what colour should I do? I think I might do a yellow one because I don't have a yellow one. So I'll use this one. Let's we'll see. Okay, I'll make one. So all I all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fold it in. You can either fold it that way or fold it this way. You can decide which way you want to fold. So I'm just going to bring it in and sort of do that. And you can go as far in you like and just play around with whatever however far you want to create your fold and you can go twist it that way you can twist it this way you can go straight i like to just sort of twist one a little bit so it doesn't really line up and then when some i'm just going to press it down so there's your little fold and i'm going to go to the next piece here and i'm, I'm going to bring mine back you can go forward you can go back so this is where the fun part is just deciding how you'd like to create your fold so I'm just going to go the same way. Actually, I might go back. I want to go back and I might bring it down. And then I've got this little piece. I'm going to just tuck that to the back. And I want to allow a little bit of room here. Just so I could create one of the little... Um, let me get one that doesn't have any embellishing on it. Um, so I just wanted to create the little fishtail sort of shape to the back. So I wanted to leave a little bit there. And also in the front and I'm just going to press that down so this one's already done so I'm going to just cut the little ends and you don't have to do this either you can leave it I just think adding this just makes it more interesting and fun decorates the embellishment as well so and I'll do the other side so as you're folding your paper strip um, you can make it a little bit longer, you can make it shorter. It all depends on how far you're creating your folds. So the deeper your folds are, the shorter your embellishment strip's going to be. So like this one is a little bit longer. I didn't do, um, I didn't fold them back as much. So um, that one's done. So it is smaller, but that's okay. And then I'm going to grab an, the smaller strip of paper. Um, what do you use? Let me see. And this will hold the folds together and it won't sort of raise it up like that. I'll use this one. I might just trim that off. And then I'm going to make another one once I've done this one and I won't do too much talking. I'm just going to make it just so you can see how quickly it is you can make it. But I'll... Um out so now I'm just going to see how far I want to so I've got that little piece I'll have to cut that off well, that's perfect so I'm happy with that you can just decide how long you want your strip with this one as long as you're able to hold the folds down that's what we want to try and do um, so I'm just going to create another fishtail shape at the both ends and I'm going to add some glue this is a great little crafting on a budget project too and if you're a beginner to embellish making embellishments this is um, a great way for beginners to make too so I'm going to try and press that down and that will hold the front part of the embellishment the little folding part and you can see that that part at the back is um, all raised you can leave that and have that like this uh, until you're ready to uh, decorate and add more layering or you can just go right ahead and just tuck in some glue at the back of the fold And then that will hold your fold down. 
So you can do it that way. And once that's all glued down, it'll be nice and flat. I just lost it. <laughs> it's all nice and flat. Or you can, oh, let me see, which is the one that I had. Or you can add another strip or paper at the back to hold the folds down if you wanted to do that. And that also decorates the back of your embellishment if you were using um, single-sided paper. But that's all there is to that. So I'm going to leave that down for a minute. I'll make another one and then I'm going to um, continue decorating similar to these ones. So I'm going to make another one a little bit longer just so you can see you can make them longer even with the six inch strip. Um, let me grab a different pattern paper. I might use the green one. I'll use this one. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer in length. So I'm just going to not make the folds too far in. Um, I'm going to go in down. I'm going to go about that much. So you can see it's not all, the folds not too far in. Then I'm going to go, I might, I might go in this way. And again, just keeping it just a little. And then I'm just going to add one more and I'm just going to go in like that. So this one, you can see it's a little bit longer now. So I'm just going to go about there. And I might go down a little bit. So you can see this is a little bit longer now than this one. So that's, I mean, you can add a little bit more, tuck that in, but I'm just going to do keep it that much and as I mentioned you can make your um, paper folds in a thin one you don't have to uh, make the a one inch wide make them however you like So that's that. Now I just pick up a little strip to cover it in front. What do you think? That one might look nice. I think I like that one. Yeah, I think I'll use that one. that one we'll do this one yeah we'll do this one just trim off this little part that was from the branding strip I um, might keep a bit of that yellow okay so I might just go there I'm gonna let it overhang a bit over This uh, project, you can make this with just all of the craft supplies that you will have on hand. Most of everything that I'm making here, uh, you you sh you most probably will already have them in your um, in your craft supplies. So I try to make my projects so that everyone gets a chance to try and make something with what you have already. And these are okay so that's now all glued down I'm just gonna go down to the back and put glue under the fold I'll just move these ones to the side now so we have our folded paper strips all folded and nice and flat and now I'm going to let's make the little I'm gonna make the little dangle so I have a, a heart punch this is I think a 20 mil heart shape 
punch. So I thought I'd do the heart punch because most of us would most probably have this sort of shape, heart punch. And um, with this one here, I did use a little heart punch, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it basic. So I'm going to use that. And I made it really sturdy. So these are nice and sturdy. So what I've done, so it doesn't bend, I just kept these um, packaging boxes from the, my pantry and I'm going to use this as the part to make it sturdy for the heart charm dangle so I'm just going to find let me just see if I've got a little piece of paper where I can punch out right, I'm just going to use this scrap paper so I'm just going to punch out two hearts from my paper scraps Oh, that will fit. Just fit. So I punch two of those, and then I'm going to punch out one of these. It doesn't really matter which way I go. So it's like a chipboard weight style um, embellishment. So I'm going to just glue that. And I'm going to sandwich the two printed hearts onto that packaging uh, box. So this will now make it nice and sturdy. Just let that set for a little bit. And I think I might add it to the little... I'll, Put it onto this one because it's a longer piece and it'll be easy for you to see when I make it. So I'm going to dangle that down here. So I've got um, an awl or a piercing tool. Or you could just find something that's sharp enough so you could punch a little hole. I'm going to punch a hole just up there so it dangles that way you can have it here if you want um, you can poke your hole wherever you like so I'm just gonna poke that in there and I'm going to also punch a little hole here so I've got two holes punched out and I've got some jump rings, which you can get these from um, your craft supply store or your discount variety store. They may have some of these. So I'm going to get two of those. And I think the size that I'm using, I'm not even sure, I think it's an 8mm size. But just um, a good size ring would work. I'm just going to open that up. Slide that through the hole so now it's dangled I'm going to close it so it's closed grab another one I've got some flat nose pliers that just helps me open it and this is a nice um, it's not a very thick jump ring so it's easy enough to just open I'm going to slide that in there so then it will dangle and then I'm going to put that one through the other hole And close it up so I've got two jump rings are linked together and now that's all dangled and if you wanted to add um, layering like I've done with the heart or um, I think I had a sequence on this one thread them all first before you add the second jump ring so you can um, have them all layered so that's done there and now I'm going to make a cute little envelope to put here and just grab oh, just use a lot of my word sentiments let's just use that I might use that for background paper I just found that that and I have a one and a half inch circle punch I would say this is probably the 
size to use anything smaller it may not work to make the little um envelope because then it'll be too small to make but you can try if you have something smaller than this you can try and see if you can make a little envelope but anything uh, from one and a half inch and bigger will work uh, the bigger the circle uh, the bigger your uh, envelope will be or you can use um, a die or just find something that's sort of in a one and a half inch circle and use it as a template and then just sort of cut around it and cut yourself a circle template and then use that to make a circle and um, I'm just going to find some paper that's big enough to punch one inch what's this one I'm just trying to decide which paper I want I might use this one instead um, punch that out So if you have something um, of this shape, just use that as your template and then just cut around it and use that. So let me cut out, let me do this first. I like to put a background paper behind my word sentiment. It just sort of gives it a nicer background. I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. Okay. Oops. <laughs> the paper just doesn't want to leave my fingers. So that's a bit better. I didn't want it too big. So I'm going to place that about there. And now with a little envelope, it's, so, it's easy to put together. All you're going to do is you're going to just fold one side in just a little bit. Just a little bit. Try and get it as straight as you can. And then do the same to the other side and sort of try and get it the same... Um, same size and you fold it in as straight as you can so like that and then you're just going to bring the bottom part up just enough so you, you'll be able to create a little tuck pocket that's why I thought if you're using anything small it'll be a little bit tedious to create the envelope and you may not get a good size pocket so there is my cute little tiny little envelope style pocket with a circle shape okay so now that's done I'm just going to glue the little part there hold that up just let that set for a sec and I'm just going to see where I'd like to lay everything so I'm, just, I'm going to do exactly the same as the other one. I'm just going to place it right there. I mean, look how cute this already looks. Isn't it just so pretty? So let's just put this together now. Okay, just going to... To make the envelope, you're probably best not to use heavy duty, or sorry, not heavy duty, heavy weight paper. It might be a little bit hard to fold your papers. I would probably use more lightweight paper, book pages, or a music sheet like these ones. They're more easier to fold because the paper's a bit thinner. Um, if you're using heavy weight paper, it might be a little bit too, too thick to fold, but you can just try. Try with all the different papers that you have 
and find what's what works best for you so there's my pocket done I'm gonna now just make a little um, little tag and you just make your tag to fit inside so um, I just had to just keep trimming down and cutting until I got the right the right um, fit to fit in here so I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to guess the size first hopefully so then I'll just sort of go in there and if it fits and then I'll at the height so it's a little bit too tall I'm just going to trim it down again so this is just a little bit of just playing around till I get the right um, till I'm happy with the size of the tag just trip it out a little bit more and I think that should do it. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to angle cut these. How cute, cute little tag. Put that in there. And I might just do the same thing. I'm going to punch a little hole some this is good because it gives you um you, you can create your hole as big as you like i'm just going to use some of this crochet string to create a little a pull a pull like a string to pull it out just get that in there oops i'll just make the hole a bit bigger I normally would use a needle, but I can't bother grabbing the needle because it's on the other table. <laughs> and just hopefully that'll go through easily. And I'm just going to tie a little knot, just one knot. Oh, my desk is such a mess. I really need to clear out, clean out my desk. Um, but here I've got so many scrap papers laying everywhere. <laughs> I've been busy making these because they were just so fun to make. So here is a completed one. Um, I could keep adding more embellishing, you know, in enamel dots. I can add another layer at the back if I wanted to add another layer of paper. But um, I just sort of show you how you can make these fun uh, paper folded um, paper strips. Just using uh, papers, six, six inch uh, width papers and cut them to one inch. And you can make these in any length you like. You can even use 12 by 12 inch paper. You can make a really long one. Um, like this one here, this is a really long one that I made. Um, so there's heaps of folds in this one, but um, I really just wanted to make some more and I thought I'll do a process video um, and um, Get you to watch me craft and make one of these. This one's cute. I added a little bit of lace to the end here. Um, I placed it on the other jump ring that's attached to the uh, Folded paper and I thought that looks really pretty and I also added um, one on this one on here too so these are just fun i just wanted to make some more um i may i'm still trying to put together a few embellishment packs to put to my shop so i think now that i've done a lot of the embellishments and i've done quite a few uh, couple of videos in uh, recently showing you all different embellishments using your punches using your paper scraps great crafting on a budget uh, weekend project um so i hope you enjoyed this uh, process video of me making these uh, folded paper strip embellishments and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.